Washington. The vast majority of people received them well as we drove them in the motorcade or to the various neighborhoods where he was comforting, uh, you know, just ordinary people who had suffered catastrophic damage. Uh, the people had signs up, make Puerto Rico great again. Uh, you know, really it was thank you for coming, uh, Mr. Trump. It really was, I would say, in the high 90%, a wonderful, wonderful reception. And any account that you read that diverts from the truth I just gave you is fake news. And, and I just want to give you two quick examples. President Trump was blamed for, in his ne alleged negligence in Puerto Rico, ignoring the outbreak of a cholera epidemic by no less than the Nobel Prize winning uh, economist Paul Krugman in the New York Times. A cholera epidemic. There is no cholera in Puerto Rico. That was uh, a tweet that stayed up there, was only deleted days after it was debunked. Time Magazine wrote, uh, characterizing what the President of the United States said at his big press conference, that uh, the, uh, uh, the President was saying, oh, you had no kind of storm here compared to Katrina, this is nothing. He did not say that. What he said was, Puerto Rico had the official death count at that time was 16 dead, as compared to Katrina, which was 1,800 dead. That's what the President was saying. We were, this was a rougher storm, than Katrina, but we have far fewer, 100 the casualties. And to characterize it that he was saying, yeah, this is not, is so false. And I understand his frustration. We had a long talk about it on board Air Force One. I'll just say this, Geraldo. It seems like every few days we're watching, like we just did, a split screen, interviewing you or interviewing someone that's at some of, the, some of these sites where the, where the hurricanes have hit, whether it's uh, Maria or Irma or Harvey. And now he's right. heading to Las Vegas. So we continuously see him out there among the people. Right. Uh, Arado, lastly, 